have downloaded this Facebook page mockup PSD file from unblast.com. And today we're going to use this mockup so that we can present ourselves in front of the client. And it has different layers. We're also going to be using different tools on Photo P so that we have a nice, beautiful end product that we can show our customer. Join me. First, you're going to access www.photop.com. You're going to get to the landing page. Because you are using an external PSD file or a Photoshop file, you're going to click and select open from computer and we're not using templates today. And then we select and we use the file that's called PSD and not JPEG or PNG. Then you're going to click on it and say open or double click on it and your mockup is going to load. So you can command or control plus to bring it closer or to zoom in and then you're able to see how your mockup looks like in order for you not to be frustrated. So do one task at a time. We're going to start with using our tools. In other words, we're going to be using a text tool to change all of this text information that you see on the mockup. Once we're done changing the text using our type tool, we're going to move over to the layers section where we then manipulate the layers, where we change the pictures and we change the shapes. So we're going to be doing step by step so that we don't confuse ourselves. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select our type tool and we're going to double click on the orange juice and we change the name to the company that we're busy designing for, that we want to show the mock-up to. So you just highlight that and you type over it as easy as that. Just don't forget to tick the correct to go to the next section and then you would scroll down so in order for you to rename or retype all of the type information on your mock-up you're going to be using your type tool so i'm going to take off everywhere i see the brand that i don't want to see and replace it with my brand that i'm designing for correct The color is blue, so I'm going to click on color and just change it to black. And that is you. You have changed all of the text using your type tool and you're comfortable, you're happy. Now we're going to move on and change the pictures. So that's step one, done and dusted. So we're going to move over to the layer side. As you probably would have noticed, when we were busy clicking on the type tool, the system was showing us where the layer was lying, where we were tweaking. So we're comfortable, we're happy, we're going to close all of the layers that the system automatically opened for us. When you open the mockup, it initially looks like this. When you select the type tool, and you start tweaking and editing, the system will open the layer as well like you just saw and then it will automatically allow you to see which layer you're manipulating. So we've done with the type tool, now we want to click where it says edit me because the edit me is going to allow you to add your own pictures so that your mockup looks exactly the way that you want it to look for your customer. So we're going to click on edit me and it starts giving you exactly what it is that you're going to be changing. Like we've been learning with all of our logos, if it is your first time, when you open a PSD file and you would like to add your own content, you are going to click on the checkered box and you're going to double click so that it opens up a tab on top here that allows you to add your own content. And you're going to systematically do that with all of the pictures where you're going to be replacing. So don't get confused and get frustrated. Just double click and it will show you which picture it is. So what I have been using with my when I was busy preparing for this lesson was to 
take the PNG file that came with the PSD. If you didn't get one, then print a PSD file that looks like this for yourself so that it gives you an indication of where you are. So right now I double clicked and it opened up this picture here and it shows me on the PSD file that it would be under the, the post that was sent by the person that's running the page and the picture looks like this. So I'm going to replace the picture with my own picture so that it has the picture that I want to show my customer. So that you're not confused, print yourself, export this PSD file as a JPEG or a PNG so that you know exactly where the pictures are that you're busy manipulating. So now we know exactly where this picture is. Now we're going to hide, we click on the eye to hide the example that we were given. And then we're gonna go file and go replace the picture with our own picture. So I'm gonna go file, open and place, and go find my pictures that I've saved all of them in one place so that I'm not confused. Then I'm gonna double click on my file and I'm going to find the photo that I want to replace that post with. And it shows you the adjustment that you could make to make it fit nicely. And it covers all the yellow. And once you're done, don't forget to Command S or Control S or save it as a smart object. So you're gonna go either File, Save as Smart Object or Command S or Control S. And then it would update it and save it as a smart object. Then you're gonna click back on your Facebook mockup, the first tab and your post is going to be replaced exactly the way that you want. Then you're gonna to go to the second picture that says cover image. It would probably be the Facebook cover image. Again, we're gonna double click on there and it shows us the cover image. And it gives us a guideline of how it looks like. We're happy, we click on the eye to hide it. Then we're gonna go file, open and place, and we're gonna find where we've saved so my advice to you, go save all of the pictures that you want on one place so that when you are busy replacing the mockup, it is easy for you and you're not frustrated. So it is not filling the whole page. Again, we're gonna size it so that it fills the whole Facebook cover page. And then Command S or Control S, don't forget to save a smart object. And once it's saved, you're gonna go back to Facebook mockup and your page is replaced and it looks like that. We do exactly the same for the profile picture. Command S, go back to Facebook. And then it changed our online picture. And that's exactly what you do with all of the pictures. The last section that we need to replace would be the photos section where we can see all of the photos. So I'm going to click on edit me and bring that a little bit up and then I'm gonna open the files. I'm going to open the photos because this is the section that I want to go replace. I have photos that I've uh, created on Canva and now I'm going to replace all of these photos with my photo. Again, I open up group nine, I double click where it says rectangle nine, I hide, and then I go replace with my own photo. I go file, open and place. And don't forget to command S and change it to smart object and then go back to the first tab. There's your first photo is changed. You close that, you open the second one and you do exactly the same. As easy as that, your Facebook page mockup, nicely done, manipulated the way that you want. Now you wanna share it with your customer so that they can buy into how you're gonna run their social media page, right? Now you're gonna go file, export as a PNG or a PDF, maybe a PDF in this instance so that it shows nice 
and begin in A4 in this format and then you click on save. As you change your mockup and you're changing and replacing pages, you would notice that Photo P opens tabs on top here. So if they're in your way and they're confusing you, you're more than welcome to close them. It doesn't mean when you close them, they're going to be taken away from your mockup. That's not going to happen. It's just that we're doing it so that it makes it easy for you and you're not confused. If you want to go learn the basics of creating a logo using Photo P, you can go watch this video here. Otherwise, if I've added value, please subscribe and share. I will see you on the next video.